Well, hello and welcome to the living room of the dollhouse for another reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers for September 22nd, the day of restless drive. And here at the top of the page is a visual representation for the day of restless drive. We have us a briefcase and it's got what looks to be an olive branch coming out the back of it. Or it could be a, a coffee plant branch, who's to say? I can't tell if they're olives or a coffee beans, but neither can you probably. <laughs> That's not what's important here. What's important is it's September 22nd, so it's someone's birthday. So if it's your birthday, I just want to extend you a heartfelt happy birthday. That's right. Happy birthday. And if this finds you a little late, maybe a couple days before or after, or maybe long after your birthday has already come to pass, well, I hope you had a happy birthday. That's right. But for everyone else who's just joining us randomly or more ideally to celebrate the September 22nd birthday, I just want to say hello and welcome to you as well and I hope you enjoy yourself. Now before we dive in with the birthday redirect, let's roll some dice. I like to live up to the namesake. This is the die cast, oh birthday cast, so let's roll some dice. But more importantly we do it for synchronicity's sake. And we rolled us a three and a four, four, seven. Now, what is synchronicity, you might be wondering? Well, it's just you getting out into the world and letting the universe show you that it's with you on your path. And you do that by, you know, going out to the town square or some such place and looking for your numbers. Just find a direction to go and set off and look for your numbers. And when you see them, chase after them with a hunger. That's right. Uh, you know, maybe roll your own dice. You don't have to go by the numbers that I've rolled for you. It's just the intention there. But when you see those numbers, you go after them. You know, maybe the city bus pulls up and it's the number seven line. Well, hop on that thing. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you ride it for a little while and number four stop comes up hey get off of that bus and maybe you uh find yourself on i don't know old third street there and you find a uh, a building right in front of you and it's the number of 43 in the address we'll go on in there and what do you find it's a briefcase shop or a suitcase whatever the image was there you go and the synchronicities are just lining up for you and maybe they're selling some coffee trees in there i don't know but it could be something as random as that the universe just kind of setting up a theme for you all right and then maybe they ask you what you need and you say i'm just here for synchronicity's sake and they have no idea what you mean so maybe you point them to this video and they're like you're in here on your birthday and you're like yeah apparently and then they go you know what nobody else is buying uh, coffee plants or suitcases either so they close up shop and they join you and you know what you just made a friend maybe for life and you know what it's all thanks to the universe and your dice numbers so you're welcome that's right Right. Any event, that's synchronicity as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it could be something totally different. Look into it for yourself. Who's to say? Any event, if you do get out there, you'll be getting your steps in, and that's worth uh, worth its salt right there. Any event, hey, let's get on in with the birthday read. That's why you're here. Your month of September, your day the 22nd, uh, your sign is 28 degrees Virgo to 0 degrees uh, Libra of the Virgo Libra cusp, and your quality and element is mutable earth. Well, all right, September 22nd, the day of restless drive. Those born on September 22nd have a restless drive to begin all sorts of new projects. And they usually, they uh, bring the one they are working on to completion, but immediately set out on a new one without rest. They are also capable of handling several projects at the same time. And those born on this day have a low boredom threshold and consequently demand challenging people and situations. They can be outgoing and dynamic types at one time and solitary and unapproachable at another. In either case, their strong character is unmistakable. Often September 22nd, people oscillate between an offensive and a defensive posture. In one sense, such postures may be one and the same, since a good offense is the best defense, and vice versa. Whether in a broad social context or on a personal level, the issues and ideas those born on this day are most often concerned with involve fairness and equality. In general, matters pertaining to the delegation and exercise of power. And in putting forth their arguments, they can be very ironic, witty, and outright funny. 
Their humor, however, is not for everyone, as it is liable to be offbeat, sardonic, perhaps even macabre. And uh, September 22nd, people can display a disturbing lack of stability. All right, and although they may be involved in quite respectable professions, one often gets the idea that the profession itself, or whatever work they do in general, lends the consistency their lives so desperately need. And those born on this day can be at risk when their restless nature brings them into conflict with the powers that be. On September 22nd, people think for themselves and will not tolerate others, particularly of lesser intelligence, trying to tell them what to do. And thus, they must be careful not to arouse enemies and antagonize their colleagues. And those born on September 22 can hide a warm heart under forbidding exterior, but generally will only open up to people whom they deeply trust and value. And even then, they may find it difficult to open up all the way. However, principally because their orientation is highly realistic and the ironies of life too visible to them. This day indeed carries insight and clarity of vision, both literal and figurative. And September 22 people are excellent judges of character and capable of sizing people up quickly. And those few friends whom they allow into their inner sanctum, they value most highly, usually, for life. And it is quite possible that one or even both parents in exceptional cases will fall into this category. And September 22 people uh, can often have a greater effect on those around them than they realize, and indeed can register a high degree of shock value. And because of their often disturbing impact, they should seek to be more aware of their effect on others, both friends and foes alike. True warriors in the battlefield life, they must take stock of their uh, armaments and defenses, using them judiciously and effectively, and avoid isolating and alienating themselves from the daily world of human values. All right. How about that for a birthday read? All right, I like this day in particular, let me tell you. And let me get into just why that is with my notes here. I like to do a little bit of commentary. September 22nd, the day of restless drive. Uh, a restless drive to begin all sorts of new projects and usually being one, uh, bringing one to completion before setting out with another. Uh, you and I differ there, all right? And I say that because uh, I have so many projects and uh, spinning plates and things simmering on the back of the uh, the stove there that I don't even know what to do in the morning half the time. I've got to spend time figuring out what to do with my day. Uh, but the reading claims you do well in that area as well. So bully for you there too, all right? And I say that with all envy and jealousy, all right? <laughs> so, because I'm probably in... Uh, I'm probably more realistically in possession of a more restful drive, all right, as I just too often lack the requisite energy to uh, to, to give that push, if you like. Uh, so don't take your innate abilities for granted, all right? They're enviable. I think that's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, to that end, speaking of powers, the reading claims you oscillate between an offensive and a defensive posture. Now, though uh, offense or defense of what, it isn't expressly made clear. But hey, it sounds good, right? And it sounds as though you're primed for anything to touch off. And that's admirable, uh, as you're concerned with fairness as well. And ostensibly, you combat conflict with deft aplomb. And I say that, yeah, at least in so far as I'm concerned, if the sense of humor they mentioned is consistent with, uh, uh, or is accurate anyhow. Uh, furthermore, it says you're a little unstable uh, pertaining to a profession if you have to deal with a certain folks uh, touching off, if you like. <laughs> you know, I just say, hey, uh, you just don't brook no truck with any of those people who... Uh, who think they're going to rise up to you, right? Hey, that's admirable, all right? But you got to practice a little bit of diplomacy, right? And let me tell you, I'm right there with you, but I also understand, hey, you got to you got to toe the line a little bit. <laughs> but maybe you don't. You know, I'm getting off track a little bit, and I'll tell you why. Because I thought it said you were stable, and so here's what I wrote. But we, we saw in the reading it said you're a little instable. So uh, we'll get into why that is a little bit later, too. But here's what I wrote here. 
Uh, it says, furthermore, you're stable, consistent in your profession, and you don't brook no truck for lessers in positions of power trying to order you around. So, right? Double negative, notwithstanding. The old don't brook yo no truck there. Uh, coupled with a warm heart and a forbidding exterior, which I get too. I'm told I'm standoffish. And when send people tell me, but once they get to know me, they know it's not true. So, hey, right there with you. I understand. Uh, but it sounds like the exact kind of person everybody needs in their life as a role model, a confidant, or a partner, and a real force to be reckoned with and respected. And that's even if only a select few of the characteristics that were mentioned apply. All right. So, hey, hopefully you've got all of those characteristics. The unstable one, hey, you know what? You got to have a little bit of, a little bit of something, right? Uh, you can't have everything, can we? But I'd say, well, yeah, don't take any of what they mentioned for granted. All right. Just don't. Because you got it going on if you have even half of that stuff. Anyway, you get the point. Let's move on to your numbers and your planets. That's right. Those born on the 22nd of the month are ruled by the number 4, as 2 plus 2 equals 4, and by the planet Uranus, which is both erratic and explosive. All right. And the number 4 typically represents rebellion, idiosyncratic beliefs, and a desire to change the rules. And because those governed by the number four so often take the opposing point of view and are remarkably self-assured, they sometimes arouse antagonism and make enemies, often secret ones. And the explosive, restless qualities mentioned above may only be heightened in September 22 people sense as Virgos. They come under the influence of the dynamic and speedy planet Mercury. Well, all right, what have to say about your numbers and your planets? Number four and Uranus. And that must be why I feel such a kinship, all right? How about them explosive and erratic apples? Let me tell you what, because uh, I'm a number four too, that's right. Uh, let's see what's weird. Rebellious and idiosyncratic beliefs and desires to change the status quo are also said to be represented, and at least according to the last few Uranus en uh, entries, but not mentioned here, it also lends to an argumentative air. So maybe be mindful of that. They didn't mention it, but they've mentioned it in the past few. Uh, so just be mindful of arousing those antagonisms. Cause, and if you got the secret ones, you don't know who might be an enemy. Yeah, that's right. So employ your diplomacy, all right? Use it as a ch take it as an opportunity to be challenged, to try and put that diplomacy out there. Uh, your explosiveness only be being further enabled by Mercury's speedy influence. Though, considering you're a Mercury, a uh, Virgo Libra cusp, they didn't mention Venus. So uh, that one's supposed to have a little bit of love faceted towards it. So maybe that's the warm-hearted nature. They just didn't mention that in the numbers and planets but let's move on to your tarot all right one of the more eclectic new age ideologies i know even by my mind but hey it's in the book it's fun it's good to broaden our horizons especially this day i think it recommends you do that so let's dive in and see what it has to say all right you ready the number 22 card of the major arcana is the fool all right who in several versions of the tarot is shown blithely stepping over the edge of a cliff and some interpretations picture him as a foolish man who has given up his reason others a highly spiritualized being free of material considerations positive meanings include renouncing resistance and following instincts freely Foolish acts, impulsiveness, and annihilation are the negative aspects. And the highly evolved fool has followed life's path, experienced its lessons, and become one with his or her own vision. All right, they would have to say about your tarot here. The fool for the a figurative man who has given up on reason, all right, and rising above material considerations to become spiritualized and free. Yeah, just be mindful of those fool choices, all right, and that impulse, all right, which might contribute to some setbacks. But sometimes it's necessary, am I right? All right, if you're like me, you live by a certain intrinsic code and you just will not be deterred by going against it. Maybe sometimes, but by and large, you won't. And going against that, even if you're doing it to your detriment, you're going to do it. Uh, well, you have to live by your code, don't you? Um, all right. But 
Uh, so be it, I say. That's what you got to do. If uh, It's what gives you your character. So you know what? Bring on those antagonists, right? I know that goes converse to being diplomatic, but ah, you got to choose it sometimes, right? That's right. Hey, you know what? Everybody can use oh, some antagonists. <laughs> and they're going to pop up even no matter how diplomatic you are. That's right. Okay, let's move on to your health. All right, those born on September 22 must be aware of the depressive effects of isolation. Also, they should avoid attracting the animosity of others. Boy, they're really drilling down on that today. Whether in the form of bad vibes or a physical violence. And because of their restless nature, they may be accident prone and inflict all kinds of minor hurts unwillingly on themselves and others. Paradoxically, they may also display a talent for healing. All right? And since their taste in foods tends to the exotic, they must be attentive to the effects of spicy, unusual, or rich foods on their body. And if they can eat from a balanced menu, it will help control restless and possibly destructive impulses. That's interesting that your diet might control that. Only mild to moderate exercise is recommended for those born on this day. All right. Hey, how about that? Moderate exercise. You know, they sometimes they say you need a lot. Sometimes they say you need a little. They say you only need a little bit. Moderate amount. Hey, man, what I say about your health? Let's get into the notes here. Beware of the depressive effects of isolation. Wow. Again, I get it. All right. Uh, but that's about where we diverge. All right. I don't know uh, that I'm accident prone from restlessness. Uh, so be mindful of that perhaps. Uh, not many accidents in the rack from us rest fold people, uh, you know, unless you're getting a stubbed toe in the night, I suppose. That happens quite a bit. As for the exotic and the rich foods, tread lightly, apparently. Uh, might give you the squirts as far as the rich foods is concerned. <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> we touched on the exercise there. Yeah, it just gets you the moderate. But you know what? If you feel you need to go extra hard, hey, that's all up to you. Follow your impulses, right? Just be mindful. They might lend to annihilation, according to the tarot. All right, hey, let's get in with some advice, as if we haven't got enough of that already. All right, don't despise those who are more open and gullible than yourself. Get in touch with your own innocent nature and try not to box yourself into one kind of outlook. Also, give yourself time to dream and to recharge. All right, real quick advice, but I would say pretty valuable. Uh, what I have to say about your advice here. Advice. Get in touch with your innocent nature. That's right. That's a new one, I think. I don't think I've read that one before, so be mindful, perhaps. Uh, it said you were warm-hearted, though, underneath that uh, standoffish ex exterior, but... Uh, don't be afraid to let it show, I would say. And I, you know what? I think I let it show, but I guess sometimes it don't come through, uh, at least out in public. The old public persona that you see here is how you see in public, ostensibly. Though it feels like I give it out, maybe I don't. Maybe that applies to you too, just to say. Uh, but we admire the anti-hero because they're vulnerable and flawed. Perhaps fatally flawed. Uh, despite what you might think, all right? And uh, definitely expand your horizons. Why? Because it adds depth of character, and you can't go wrong with that. Even if you don't let other people see it, it's there, right? You got more stuff you could talk about, uh, which then I would argue contributes uh, to the further ability to dream also, which it also recommended, and which is also nice because it's a natural escape from uh, the things that might bother you, um, even if only for a moment. All right, that's been what I had to say about your advice. Let's dive in and take the energy down a hair. Uh, get in with your meditation. That's right. <clears throat> Are you ready? Buddha just sat under a tree and let the whole world come to him. Ooh. One more time. Buddha just sat under a tree and let the whole world come to him. All right, that's been your meditation. I'm not going to throw a spin on it for you. It would probably just uh, change what you had, change your mind as to what you were going to come up with. And it's your birth anyway. It's your meditation. So I'll leave you with that. All right, now let's dive in with your strengths and your weaknesses. All right, I think we've already drilled down on them through the reading there. We're just going to put them to words there. Uh, all right, your strengths, your individual, your perceptive, 
and your well-directed. All right. And your weaknesses. Oh, hold your breath. Here we go, your weaknesses. Acerbic, dark, and guarded. Ooh, acerbic. That's the first time I think I've seen that here in the weaknesses. Dark and guarded, though, I think have been in there before. Any of them. Hey, you know what? Anti-hero. That's what I hear there. That's right. Ooh, <laughs> nothing wrong with the anti-hero. Because they are warm-hearted despite their forbidding exterior. Isn't that right? Okay, hey, next we're going to dive in with those born on this day. And when we get in with those born on this day, I like to dive in with a little bit of something uh, that I find important. I get out in the world, I meet folks, ask them what they do and if they like it. And a lot of times they don't. And uh, who can blame them? It's just in these life and times, you don't have the time to put in the work to figure out your passions. You get out of school, you got to get a job, you got to put food on the table, you got to change those bed sheets on the weekend. There's no time to figure out what your passions are. And even if you know what they are, how to make money with them. Uh, so in any event, uh, I like to take this opportunity so we not only see who shares your company, who was born on this day, but what they did to get themselves in the book and maybe in the social zeitgeist, if you like. The cultural zeitgeist. So let's get in and dive in with those born on this day and see if maybe you can find some inspiration if you need some inspiration to find your passions. All right, who do we got here? We have Eric von Stroheim, or Stroheim perhaps, an Austrian-American film actor, director of Greed. We also have Paul Mooney, stage and film actor. Uh, we have John Hausman, who is a theater director, TV film producer, actor, co-founder of the Mercury Theater. Hmm, I wonder if that's because of his rulership through Virgo. Who's to say? And we have Michael Faraday, British physicist, chemist, electrical unit namesake, and he discovered the Faraday effect. Had an influence on the microwave oven, I imagine. That's right. Uh, Anna Karina, the Danish, French film, TV, and the theater actress. Uh, Faye Weldon, the British comic novelist of The Cloning of Joanna May. We also have Tommy uh, Lasorda, who was an L.A. Dodgers a baseball manager and a two-time World Series winner. We have Yang Chan, uh, Chen, rather, Ning. Yang Chen Ning, a U.S. A Chinese U.S. Nobel Prize winning physicist and an elementary in elementary particles. We have Ingemar Johansson, a world heavyweight boxing champion. Uh, Wilhelm Keitel, a chief of the Supreme Command of German Armed Forces in World War II and sentenced to death at Nuremberg. Yeah executed also. <laughs> so they carried it out apparently. Uh, hey, you know, you got to take the good Oh, with the bad. That's right. We have Joan Jett, the rock singer and film actress. Uh, David J. Stern, NBA basketball commissioner and internationalized the game, it says. We also have a Charles B. Huggins, a U.S. Nobel Prize winning cancer researcher and surgeon. A lot of Nobel Prize winners today. Uh, Ladzislav Fialka, a mime director. That's a first. Haven't seen that one in here before and a director, let alone not just a mime. We have Dame Christabel uh, Pankhurst, a British suffragist, uh, standing up for equality there. Uh, we also have Paul Baum, a German painter, uh, Antonio Saria, a Spanish informal painter, a couple artists today, Ty Bablioni, uh, Babylonia, Babylonia, perhaps, U.S. figure skater, <laughs> and uh, Roger Bisseri, a French painter and a writer, and Fritz Winter, a German abstract painter. A lot of artists today, that's right, and I butchered so many names, so let's, let's uh, do that since it's not out of malice, it's just hooked on phonics, didn't work for me, all right? Uh, in any event, that about rounds out your birthday read, except to say your season is summer, your sign is Virgo of the Virgo Libra cusp, and your quality and elements is immutable Earth. And this has been September 22nd, the day of restless drive from the secret language of birthdays by Gary Goldschneider and you Stelfers. I have an affiliate link for this book down in the description if you're interested in picking up a copy. If you need something for your coffee table on those... Uh, non-isolationist days and you have company over and you need something to break the ice you know either literally or figuratively uh it's gonna get the job done in a both cases there due to its girth and also the subject matter it's gonna get no I'm sorry about that it's gonna get the uh conversation started for better or for worse um 
as you can tell. There's, there might be some people who wouldn't like having your birthday read. I'm not an anti-hero, that kind of thing. But it's going to get the conversation flowed regardless. Uh, in any event, hey, that's not important. Here. What's important is it's your birthday, and I just want to say once again, happy birthday. That's right. And if, that, like I said, if it catches you late, hope you had a happy birthday. But for everyone else who joined us to celebrate September 22, hey, hope you enjoyed yourself and you come back for your birthday read. That's right. So once again, happy birthday. And lest we forget your daily numbers. That's right. Get out there. Find you a suitcase and a coffee plant or an olive branch. We couldn't tell what it was. And just let the universe show you it's with you on your path. That's right. Okay. Enjoy yourselves and happy birthday. <laughs>